Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen, where every week I will show you how to make a quick, amazing dish. All right, guys, we are making chicken piccata with artichoke and some dry tomato. And I am very excited because this is the first episode of me actually cooking up a storm at the Viking headquarters in Greenwood, Mississippi. Now, chicken piccata is a very easy dish, very traditional, very loved by everyone, whether you're American, Italian, doesn't matter where you're coming from, you're gonna love this dish. Now, the most important things about a chicken piccata is the ability to pound your chicken fairly thin. And that's why a Ziploc bag will come very handy. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get two chicken breasts, and we're gonna place them in a Ziploc bag, just like this. One, and two. So you don't have to touch chicken. Now there's nothing wrong in touching chicken, but most people are a little put off by it. So now your chicken is flat. You're gonna get a meat mallet. Nick, get right up in here, ready? Check this out. Two. Boom. And the game is done. Now you got your chicken inside. And before I get to the seasoning of the chicken, we're gonna start our kind of uh, the sauce, kind of the things that will bring the whole chicken together. Now here's what I got. I got two saute pan sitting on a low burner. Not high fire, low. They gotta be hot. You don't wanna burn things down, all right? So I have some butter and I'm gonna split my butter in two. Half butter goes here, half butter goes here. One's for the chicken, one is for the sauce. I have some garlic. Now, if you are a ninja, like I am, you can make very thin garlic very fast. If not, just crush the garlic with the back of your knife like this, and I don't care. You know I'm not very picky on how we're gonna chop things up. So just make sure that your garlic is, it's not a whole cloves, all right? So now we got garlic in the pan there, and now we can turn on the fire a little bit. There. Now, mind you, you're cooking with Viking appliances. Viking has 23,000 BTU. Now, if you know what BTU is, BTUs, high BTUs and low BTUs. Something like, you know, most appliances out there that have lower BTU, it's like trying to cook with the matchsticks. 23,000 BTU is like a flamethrower. It's extreme heat and good heat distribution under the surface of your cookware. That is what you need to a perfect cooked meal. So we're gonna get there. Now mind you, high BTU, that means that also you have to be careful not to burn it. And that's why you have to pay attention. Now garlic is there. Right now, what I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm gonna take my chicken out. I'm still using my plastic bag, you see? So I don't get chicken on my cutting board. Not that I care, I'm just saying, it's probably a lot cleaner this way. I have some flour. I'm gonna put pepper and salt in my flour. I'm gonna mix this. Mix salt and pepper. And I'm gonna quickly dredge the chicken in it and put it in the pan. That's it. Now we can remove these. And you have your counter perfectly clean. Now, 
You see, when you cook garlic in butter, you're gonna see a lot of bubbles, you're gonna see a little foam. And that's good, because that's when the garlic starts to caramelize. Now, it's when you put your artichoke. And your sun-dried tomatoes. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Here's the easy part. We turn on the fire. Now, I gotta show you guys this. Ready? Nick, get up in here. Check this out. So, the reason why I love Viking is because they are very safe. I'm a new dad. You know, my son is two and a half years old and he always play with fire. He always play with the stove. He always turn knobs. It's a little savage, you know? And he's a kid, you can't prevent them from doing so. So check this out. You got the fire on, right? If the gas is on, but the fire is not, this will reignite, which means that this is gonna go on and avoid your house from getting gas. Check this out, one, two, three. Gas off, boom, on. Two seconds, it back on. So this means that if something happens, you get distracted, your kid is playing with these and turns everything on, you gonna get the fire back on and nobody's gonna get hurt. Now check this out, guys. Now we starting to get some caramelization on the artichoke and the, and the tomato. Now mind you guys, these are canned Artichoke. This is a good dish for year-round, but artichoke is not an year-round produce. So good brand of artichoke in oil or water will just do the work. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick the fire up because I need my chicken to be seared on both sides. And I can add some salt and pepper, a little extra salt and pepper. Now in this, the garlic is starting to get caramelized. You see, you see there, you see all the nice and dry tomato. They have a good browning on it. Good cookware gets you good browning. In this case, Bialetti is the one I choose to work with because it conveys the better heat for the surface, better than most cookware out there. Now, like I said before, you see the butter is bubbling. You see that? Now look the non-stick. Look how non-stick, good non-stick works. Check this out, look at that. This is amazing, I love this. All right, so now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lower the fire to a simmer. A little simmer. And I'm gonna add chicken stock. Now we got there. Look at the sear on that. You see? All right, look at that. And just so you guys know, Nick, raise this up. When you hear me talk about Nick, Nick is the guy behind the camera. So I call him out all the time, and I call him out so much that he's not gonna be able to chop this off and make it all make sense without me saying his name. So whenever I say, Nick, check this out, you know what I'm talking about. Nick is the man, he's behind the camera kind of guy. Very, very good looking, very good looking dude in low light. Low light scenario, he looks great. Now, here's what we got now, ready? Lemon. Little trick for lemon juice is to squeeze it over a little colander so you don't get the seeds in your food. Three, four. Now that the lemon is there, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get these, and we're gonna throw these on top, ready? Look, 
look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that. You know another things I love about Viking? It's all stainless steel. It's all stainless steel. So it's very easy to clean. Very easy. Lift it, wipe it clean, done. All right, now chicken picada. Look at these things, guys. Look how awesome this is. What a nice caramelization it has. Look. Awesome. Now we're gonna bring it up to boil for one second. <clears throat> the sauce is nice and creamy. See there? Look at that. Look. Look at this. Look how nice and creamy it is. And now, last touch. Chicken picada with sun-dried tomato and artichoke. Made in no time. Boom. Hey guys, if you like this dish, please share it and subscribe to my channel.